Okay, hello everybody. Just give me a second. Look at us fixing something here. And hello, just so then uh just let me open the platform so that we can be ready. Okay. Hello Maria. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening. How about one? Okay. And Martin. How are you, Martin? Hi, teacher. How are Good you? I am eating in this moment. Oh, okay. They say okay. enjoy your dinner. Yes. Okay, good. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, hello, Mercy. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. And you? Oh, good, good. You know, I was uh, busy with a lot of work, but okay. Wait a minute, that. The, I'm going to turn off the camera because I need to, to load the page and the internet I think is kind of slow. Yes, uh, one more second. I don't know why at this time the internet goes slow. Maybe everybody is, is juicing it in this area. Okay. I'm going to give it some time. Okay, good. Hello, Herbert. Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Okay. Byron. Good evening, teacher, and everyone. Hey, hello, Anna. Hello. How are you doing? Uh -huh. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, you sound. <laughs> You sound kind of uh, yes. kind of tired, huh? Yes. Yeah. How was how was your day? Oh, uh, so um, busy. Okay. <laughs> well, it's good and bad, right? Good because if you are, if you are busy, it's because you have work, and bad and bad because you know sometimes we get very tired right and it's not easy to... uh, a time ago uh -huh. um, <laughs> i i stay uh, asleep okay uh, it's correct the word <laughs> uh -huh. i sleep mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> okay. i you felt you i you say i fell asleep but by put the the battery battery uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm okay good you recharge you recharge the battery yeah okay all right so that's now i understand now some time at this yeah, time no, now my mind uh, is, fresh. is fresh yes okay good i hope so Okay. <laughs> thank, you, right. thank you. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, now we can see the platform, right? Here we have the topic. Thank yes. you for help me always, okay? For what? <laughs> thank you. Because you always tell me but but uh, I can finish the sentences. Oh no, I mean yeah. <laughs> because that's... sometimes I I, I I forget that the word that I can say. Mm -hmm. uh, I I I know many, many words, but in the moment, I don't know. I forget all 
when I speak uh, in English. <laughs> but you know, uh, this is for everybody, not only for you, Anna. Uh, sometimes uh, we have so many vocabulary that sometimes uh, it's the lack of practice, okay? So what you need is to practice more. Uh, that's why these short conversations that I like to have these conversations at the beginning of the class, you don't like to to shake the 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 how can I call this the knowledge that we have in the mind, and then so that you can remember vocabulary, bring it back, because only repeating sentences is good mm -hmm. because you learn the structure. But what you need more, everybody, is speak, practice, uh, conversation, right? Because that uh, when you speak, you react according to the other person's question okay mm -hmm. it's not you are not planning an answer you have yes. to answer immediately right if i say oh by the way anna uh, would you like to go to the to the concert next week to see uh, to see what is the name del, del buki <laughs> and then this is a different question you said um, yeah Oh no, I don't like that kind of music. You know, I don't like that singer. Oh yes, sure. No, I love that guy. And then I would be more than happy to. So then this is something, you know, that different when you have a conversation. No, like the yeah. like the ones that we have in the book. Okay? Hmm. okay Good. Okay. So don't be shy and practice as much as you can. <laughs> Thank right. you, teacher. All right. <laughs> Good. Hello, Kenya. Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. How are you today? Um, a little bit relaxed, but I feel a little bit sick. Why? What happened? Um, like I've, I have um, cough. Okay. The cough. <laughs> yes, cough. yes. Mm -hmm. Cough. Okay. Okay. I think it's because of the wind, maybe, right? The temperature is changing. You have to be careful. Uh, yes. But, mm -hmm. You know. Maybe it's for that, but all the day. Um, maybe it was relaxed. Yeah. Okay. That's good. You know, a, a good a good cup of tea will help you know your your uh your thought. You know, hot tea, cup of hot tea is going to be nice. Okay. That's you yes. Know, it's true. Yeah, and relax at the same time. Yes. Okay, good. Luis Miguel. But not the singer. Hi, teacher. Right? Good evening. Uh, do you like do you like the singer Luis Miguel? Luis Miguel? No. Yeah. Do you like do you like Luis Me? Yeah. Uh, everybody say me or Luis, say me call, me. call call to me. Call me Luis Me. Call me. Yeah. Yeah, because you know it's very it's a very common uh, I mean uh, okay. idea to to compare your name with the singer. So that's why. Right? So then people say, ah, okay, instead of Luis me, ah Luis me instead of Luis Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, first. Great. Good. Okay. Now see in the lesson, it says here in this lesson you will notice the practice release and unreleased sounds, but we were Talking about the gerunds, remember, giving short responses. Then, uh, then we were using this one. Noah, we didn't finish this one. Wait, I'm going to play this one to refresh. The test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verb program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. 
Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as, don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They are good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problem. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Okay. Now, this is so, remember, goes with the affirmative sentences, right? Positive statement. If you say, I need to buy a new cell phone, if you agree in the, with a positive statement, you say, so do I. And if you say, neither to, uh, neither to, neither equals to agree with a negative statement, I don't like working long hours, neither do I. I don't need to buy a new cell phone, neither do I. So this is when we agree on a positive statement and then when we agree on the negative statement, okay? I think we are clear with that idea, right? But then uh, we also have, oh, it didn't open what I wanted. Okay, so it's here. Yeah. Okay, but what happens if... Uh... Sure. Uh, yes. What, uh, what can I use? Uh... Be interesting. Wait, just give me a second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for example, what can I use? I'm. How can you use this one? I'm interested. Okay. In. Okay, here, for example, you can use a noun or you can use a verb, okay? If you use a verb, the verb is going to be in gerund form, okay, with ing. Say, I'm interested in learning, uh, learning, that's German, learning, uh, let's say, uh, French. Okay, I'm in interested in meeting new people. Okay, I am interested in working part time. I'm interested in working full time. Okay, tell me a sentence. 
I'm working. Uh, sorry, I'm interested in. Think about a sentence. What or, or a verb? In this case, only the verb. I'm interested in. reading books i am interested in playing to study, to study line in studying right remember there in i am studying okay studying line I'm studying online online. Yes. online okay i'm interested in studying online okay i am interested in Working Play. from home. Working from home, okay. I'm interested in playing uh, tennis. Okay. I am interested in... Visiting other, other countries. Maha, traveling to... Uh, traveling. Yes, or visiting, it's okay. To other countries, right? Countries. I interested in knowing new people. Uh -huh, in knowing more people, knowing new people. Okay, there you go. Okay, this is how you just interested in, right? No problem. Yes, teacher. Thank you. I understand now. Okay. Oh, before then you can use. I am interested in. Uh, let me see, I'm interested in uh, action movies. Okay, in this case, you are using the noun, right? You're not, I mean, obviously, <clears throat> if you are interested in action movies, it's, <clears throat> it's watching, right? So then uh, you can say, I'm interested in watching action movies or I am interested in action movies. Uh, I am interested in uh, books, uh, books of, about, on books about uh, nature. I am interested in books about photography. I am interested in uh, books about uh, animals. Then you can use also a noun. <clears throat> These are the different ways that you can use your to express your interest. Okay. I am interested in to express what you are interest interested in. Okay. Then the other thing I wanted to tell just you a, uh -huh. a, just in this option or uh, or I can use uh, another verb. For example? That, that, I, can, that I can use a, a, a noun uh, substitute uh, uh, a verb. Uh -huh. It depends what, what you're in, on your interest. For example, I am interested in dolphins. I am interested in elephants. Mm -hmm. I, I am so what I mean any noun depends on your uh, interest. Okay. 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 This is the other thing I want you to to remember is this. I need to find a job. That is the sentence in the in the video, right? The answer is or the agreement is so do I. So do I. Okay, Maria. Yeah. Change this sentence into past tense. Um, and the past tense. Mm -hmm. Um. The same, I... same sentence. The same sentence. In past tense. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I I was need. No, just simple past. I need. I need it, right? Need it. Then you say to I need it to to find. to find. Okay, to find a job. job. Okay. So then in this one is present and this one is past. So here, then we're going to use so did I. So did I. Okay. Now, uh, Amanda, change the sentence to future. Can you speak a little louder? Hola. Okay. Sí. Yes. Sorry, I, I didn't no, Just in future. The same sentence, but in future. Um, I will need. Okay. I will need find, to, to find, find a job. To find a job. Okay, so you have future. In the agreement? So, so, so will I. Will I. Okay. Herbert. Okay, this the same sentence but in present perfect. Present perfect. Uh, I, I need present, uh, perfect. I need to, present perfect. Uh, I, I need to find. I have need. Okay. I have, I need have needed to find. Remember the past participle? Mm -hmm. uh, so. Have I? So I have to need to find a to job. Find, okay, I have needed uh, to find a job. So then, so, so how I? So have I? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you see, for example, so in the video, it chooses one way. But actually, in the real life, something else, right? So then, when we use this one, here it says, so to agree with, so do I, in present. Yeah. But then we have the past tense, future tense, present perfect. Then you can use the uh, past perfect. Okay, and then you can also. In, excuse me, in Spanish, so how I, what do you mean? Me too. Me too. Uh. Me too. Me too. Yes? Yes, the same is so I. Uh -huh. I what do you mean? Listen, all of them are me too, me too, me too. Okay. okay. Yes, yes, you can say me too. Okay, in a formal conversation, in a job interview, I mean, it's better if you say, so will I, right? Uh, instead of, you, because me too is uh, probably, you know, too, too basic, right? Okay. Basic. Yes, Amanda. Could you please uh, share the um, oraciones? The sentences? Yes, 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 yeah. please. In the chat? Yes, please. Uh, only to have the example. Yes, no problem. Thank you, teacher. Yes, let me see here. 
years ago. Okay. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, so then this is, for example, the using do right. Then the same, the same, uh, let's say, uh, thing applies to the negative, right? When you say, for example, I don't, I don't like a uh, working. Uh, long hours. Okay, I don't like working long hours. Then we use here neither do I. Luis Miguel, what is the negative form for this one? The negative no, no wait 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 sorry sorry no my 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 bad my bad what is the past tense of this sentence mm -hmm. I don't like that's present it. that's present and the past is is a, another another sentence no the same sentence in past tense I don't like I don't like working long long hours in pants in past no that's in present. Now in past. Now in past. I don't like working long hours. I didn't, I didn't like no. working uh -huh. long Sorry. hours. Uh, yes. I didn't like That's working the... long hours. Very good. Okay, I didn't, I didn't like you. I didn't like. Then you have to say working. Then the rest working. is the same, right? Long hours. <laughs> And the rest going to be so. neither, and then neither. Neither, neither I do. do I. No. Neither. 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 Am I? Look at the auxiliary verb. Did I? Neither. Neither did do I. I. Neither did I. Did I? That's his past tense. It's the same thing with so, right? It is here so. I needed to find a job, so did I. Past tense. I didn't like working long hours, neither did I. Okay, present, do. Past, did. Okay, what else? In future, negative. Uh, Cesar, future. I... I will not like working like long hours. Very good. I won't like. I will choose the the contraction, but will not is okay. I won't like working long hours. Okay. Then neither. Neither won't I. Affirmative. Neither will I. Yes, sir. Correct. Neither will I. Okay, if you see, we will come again to this. Because the, the negative is here. Okay. You say didn't, this is the negative form. And then here, neither. Here's the negative form. Remember, neither is negative, so is affirmative. Okay. Uh, the other one with the present perfect maybe makes no sense here, right? Say, I haven't liked working long hours. No, that one. I mean, grammatically, yes, but the sentence doesn't sound very... I mean, sounds weird, but we can use, for example, uh, one sentence, I haven't, haven't liked 
No, we're going to use another one because like doesn't work here. Uh, mm -hmm. I haven't okay. seen, seen that movie. Okay, I haven't seen that movie. Then we may use neither have I. Neither have I. Okay, so then, uh huh. Yes, sir. I, I should have seen that movie. I should have. Uh huh. Shouldn't see that movie. Okay. All right, good. I shouldn't. I shouldn't see that movie. Yes, it's a good recommendation of that, right? And then you say neither. Neither should I. I. And I'm gonna use neither should. should neither I. should I. Okay. So then we have. You see, according to the, these are modal auxiliaries, okay, or auxiliary verb too, and you should, okay, we have should or shouldn't, and then we have have, then we have will, and here we have want. Okay, uh, Kenya. Well, everybody, everybody, think about one sentence. Present, past, future, should, would, could. Uh, for example, um, I couldn't speak. I couldn't speak. Uh, let's say I couldn't speak Spanish when I was two years old. I couldn't speak Spanish when I was two years old. What is the the negative form to agree? So uh, negative, negative. Negative. Uh -huh. um, I couldn't speak I Spanish couldn't, uh, when I was two years old. Two years old. Is uh, agree or disagree? Neither could. I. Uh huh. Correct. Then you're gonna use neither. Could I? Could I? Because I say I couldn't. Okay, I couldn't. I couldn't speak. For example, I couldn't walk. Uh, when I had the accident. Okay, well, I couldn't walk when I was six months old, neither could I. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't go to, uh, let me see, I couldn't go to Mark Anthony's concert. Then the answer would be, neither could I. Okay, so. Tell me a sentence with I couldn't, I shouldn't, I haven't seen, I haven't done, I won't, I didn't, I don't. Any sentence. Mm -hmm. Were you ready? Raise your hand. I shouldn't. Uh, uh, no, I should. In negative or positive? Okay, negative or positive, it doesn't matter. Okay, teacher. Okay. I need, uh, I should I should um, uh, practice more English. So should I? Okay. Oh yeah, I agree. I agree with you, right? Say, hey, you know, I should practice more English. Okay. Ah, oh, so sh so should I? This mm -hmm. year. Yes. Uh, I I oh well okay. There there is uh something curious uh, about the, the negative statement with in germans about the the example uh, uh -huh. I, I wash it uh, i have washed it uh when i in the sentence i don't mind working long hours and uh, when it disagree the answer is well i do but when i uh in the sentences uh i can stand making mistake 
the answer in this agree is, oh, I don't mind. It's curious for me because uh, and the first sentence is, is the, I don't mind. But the answer is, well, I do. Mm -hmm. But I, I can I can stay I I can stand uh, using uh, don't mind. Do you understand? Where, what is that? Uh, about the the examples. What example? Yeah, which example? Uh, uh, where Where did you see that? About the. I don't know how to say it. La explicación. But where? Mm -hmm. where? 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 Uh, in the video. In the video, yes. Ah, okay. That's that's uh, right. Excuse me. This this one, uh huh. In the video. This one. I, I have watched it. Here. In the sentences that don't mind. Yeah, look! 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 Just look. That's the this one. Yes. This one. Yes. Uh -huh. It's curious for me. It's curious for me because the answer in disagree is well I do, but okay. uh, when I don't use, I don't mind. And say, no, okay, can I understand? The answer is oh I don't mind. Mm. No sé si me entiende. Lo que the le quiero. I, I know. Example. I know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now look at this. Uh, first. Remember, try to. This is not the like an answer, right? So this is uh, your agreement or disagreement. Agree, okay. Disagree, yeah. Then, when we have, for example, I don't mind working long hours. If you agree, then you say neither do I. Okay. So I don't mind. For example, that means that you don't mind working long hours. Well, I don't mind working working long hours, and you don't mind working long hours. So we are, in this case, we are in symphony. We are on the same page, okay? Yes, Anna? Okay. okay, good. Then, in the, the, uh, in the other case, when you say disagree, it's because you do not agree with my statement, with my sentence. I don't mind working long hours. And they say, well, I do. Okay, that is, but, me, yes. That would be in Spanish. Yes? Mm. Okay, I don't mind, I, Luis Avellan, I don't mind working long hours. And then you want to say, well, me, yes. But you don't say me, yes in English. You say, well, I do. Okay? Mm -hmm. I do mind working long hours because I don't want to work long hours. You disagree. Okay, that's why you say, well, I do. And in the, this is, for example, because I say I don't mind. The last sentence, when you say I can't stand making mistake, I can stand is I cannot tolerate mm -hmm. making mistakes. And they say, neither can I. And in the other case, you sound like, well, I don't care. I don't mind. Yeah. Okay. And when they say, I don't care. If you said, for example, I can, suppose I said, uh, I can, I can stand, uh, I can stand the traffic. No, traffic in, for me is stress, is uh, get angry, get sick. Okay. But you see some people driving very nice, listening to music and talking, and they are very slowly. They don't mind. They don't care about the traffic. Okay. But in my mm -hmm. case, I can't stand it. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. why. So it's it, it I has. Can see more more... <laughs> huh? I can see more clear. <laughs> no, yes, good. It's a good, it's a good question. It's a good question because the, the use, yes, give me a second. The use of uh, these uh, sentences, these short responses, is because depends on your reality. Okay, depends on your personality. Suppose uh, 
in my case, I say, I'm going, this is in general. Anybody can answer, but this is true. In my case, I can stand cats. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like to say, it's not, it's not my business, or it's not my problem. What? Yeah, but that is offensive. Yeah, yeah, but 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 if this the the same idea, uh, and... uh, yeah, to say oh, I don't mind. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. Uh... No, I don't mind is something like, yeah, well, uh, it doesn't bother me. But it's not like, for example, we say uh, it, it's not my problem. It's, it sounds more it sounds more rude, case rude, if you say that. But if you say, I don't mind, in this case of the traffic, okay, or in this case of the mistakes, it's better, I don't mind. Okay. I but don't mind is polite. It sounds, yes, more polite depending on the sense. Yeah. Okay. Then the sense. Are you allergic to the cats? Uh huh. For example, I don't like cats. Sure? I can't stand cats. So then, okay, you will say, neither can I. You can say, well, I don't mind. Okay, Absolutely. you can see a cat. You can see a cat there, no problem. But in my case, I cannot tolerate a cat. And then you say, well, uh, you can say, well, I can. Okay, I can stand, I can tolerate a cat. See, like in this one that you told me that will I do, you can also use it here, but obviously with can, right? Well, I can. I can tolerate. Well, in my case, yes. I can tolerate a cat, no problem. Got it. So I got you, it. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. depend, depends on your on your uh, on your statement. And if the other person agrees, okay, or disagree, okay, so that would be the case. Good. Okay, tell me another sentence. Like you said, for example, I should study or I should practice uh, more English. So should I? Okay, Herbert, Cesar, Kenya, Catherine, Byron, tell me one sentence, Miss Miguel. Any sentence. And I will, and I will, uh -huh, and I will agree or disagree. Okay. Um, well, suppose I tell you. I will. Uh, uh -huh. I will play. I uh, will play. I uh, will to play uh, a guitar. I will. I will to play. I will no, play. Playing uh, guitar. I will play the guitar. Okay, um, well, I won't. Very well. Okay. I, I won't because I can't, okay? okay? I won't because I can't. You can? Teacher, in uh -huh. affirmative or negative? Whatever, doesn't matter. Suppose I said, I like a butt bunny. I like, I like play all afternoon. Um, play play video game. I like to play. Well, I like playing. I like to play. I like to play video game all afternoon. Okay, so let me see. Now, in my case, I can't, but I can. You know, then I uh, said so, so. I don't because I don't have time. Okay. Oh, I don't. So that I don't yeah, have reason. you in that case. Yes. You Yes. No, I have to work, and then uh, I can. Okay. Anybody else? Another sentence. Should, yes. Kenya. I should study English every day. Okay. So should I? Okay. So should I? Good. Okay. Another one. I have not eaten sushi. I haven't either. Say, or oh, neither have I, okay? Neither have I. And I, do you like sushi? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I am curious to- To taste it. To taste it, yes. Yeah, no, but it's good, it's delicious. You will like it, 
Do you like do you like seafood? I love I love it. Yeah, okay. Sister and sister, do you like seafood? See si what? Seafood. Like a uh, shrimp, fish, uh, uh, oy yes, oysters. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes, you do? Yes, okay. I love it. Then, sushi sushi is, is bad. Uh, <laughs> maybe maybe Royal Primavera. The rolls, uh huh. The rolls, primavera. I I don't. You don't like. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what see what say. Rollo primaveras. Roll rolls. Uh -huh, the rolls. Rolls. Uh huh. That is good. Yes, I mean, no, but it's delicious. I, I think uh I like it. No, I like it. So I think it's it's different taste, but it's good. Yeah. So do I. Oh, okay. Good. Nice, so do I. Another sentence, people? Amanda, tell me a sentence. Now I can't hear you. Get closer. No. Um. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Tell no. Tell me the sentence again. I only heard the, the end. Oh no. I lost your audio again. Aha, uh -huh, Martin. No. Okay, so we have some uh, microphone issues with Martin and Amanda. Okay, no problem. Now, then remember that this topic is probably now. <laughs> yes, Martin. No, I don't hear you. I think your microphone is open, is on, but... teacher. Okay, now, yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Tell uh, me. I'm good at uh, selling uh, something. Okay, so then, so am I. <clears throat> okay, so for example, uh, this is different. Uh, here says because you said you're using I am right I am good at selling things okay so then you say uh, so am I okay I agree with you oh, me too so am I or I can say, uh, I am not. And then you say here, for example, well, I am not. Okay, I'm bad, I'm terrible at selling. Okay, so then you can use the, I in this one, I agree, so am I. In this one, I disagree because mm -hmm. I am not a good salesman, okay? Good. If I say, I, 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 oh, uh, uh, the, 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 the class should do it more, more time. <laughs> the, class? I... the class? The class should do it. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. The okay. class, the class should. Oh, that's German. Should last more time. No, the class should 
Should do it. Should do it. No? Do it. Uh, I mean, la, 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 last. You mean more time in the class? Más tiempo. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, last. Uh -huh, last. Okay. That's the word, uh, when you say should, uh, for example, then last. When you want to say, for example, the class lasts one hour. Okay, mm. then, well, the class should last more time or more than an hour. Okay, then in this case, uh, probably it's not a statement that, uh, for example, that I agree because you say, for example, here, uh, I will agree with the class. If you see in these sentences, I agree with the subject. Okay. And then, for example, uh, how can I tell you this? This, I can agree with people, right? But no with, uh, with the time of a class. You say, for example, yeah. then you say, for example, I think, Then you have to add this, I think. This one, yes. I think the class should last more time. And then I say, I agree with you. So, mm -hmm. do I. Yes. Okay, teacher. Now here, I agree with this person. Okay, no with this a uh, subject that is not a person, right? So I think El Salvador should uh, should improve the economy. <laughs> I, I think. Yeah. But I say so do I. So do I. But I I I agree with the person that thinks. No with El Salvador, no with the class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? Okay, teacher. Good. Nice. Okay, so we have this ones. Okay, you see, that's what I, I like this, the when you interact, because when you interact, other ideas come, and then the rest can see the difference, that so many differences that we have to use the region, the, the agreements, right? Now here, did we do this one yesterday? No. Uh, no. Uh. I think so, no. no. Okay, we can finish this one if you want. People, here we have, uh, read the following phrases, rearrange and use what it is in brackets in order to make a statement. Remember the ing form of the verb. Example, I enjoy spending time with my friends. Okay, I enjoy spending time with my friends. And this one, you can say, I don't like. Bye. I don't like what? By bus, commuting. Commuting by bus, right? Commuting by bus. Commuting by bus, yes. Uh, let me um because this one sometimes so we can go faster like this. I don't like commuting by bus. Okay. What yeah. about the number two? I'm not very good. I'm not at very good at learning. Learning. A learning foreign language. Okay, language. so then we have I am not very good. <clears throat> sorry, at learning foreign languages. Okay, these are abilities that sometimes people have and other people don't have. Okay, the next one is, I'm good. I'm good at, I'm good at solving, I'm good at solving. Uh -huh. other, other people's problems. Okay, then I'm good at solving other people's problems, right? So this was the mistake, remember? Uh, here says problem, Wait. and the answer is problem. Oh. But the mistake is in the answer, not in the sentence. Okay. Okay, I hate. 
I hate working. Uh huh. I hate working. Working with team or group. Okay. Or I hate working with a team or group or with a group or team. So this person likes to work alone. Oh. I can't stand. <clears throat> I can't can stand, stand meeting. Meeting. In, uh, in a long meeting. I can't stand, can stand sitting. Uh huh. I can't can stand, stand sitting. Sitting in sitting. a long meeting. Okay. In a long meeting. A long meeting. In a long, in a long meeting. Yeah. Okay. And then? Uh, I'm interested in managing. Managing my time better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then we have, I don't mind. I don't <laughs> mind talking. I don't mind talking. I don't mind talking. On a cell phone. On a cell phone. On a cell phone. Okay, if you see here when you say I don't mind is something that it doesn't bother me, right? Remember the word I don't mind is, uh, well, I don't mind staying up late. It's something like it's not a, a big deal for me, right? So then I can manage, I can control that. Okay. And then mm -hmm. I, enjoy I enjoy eating yeah. eating lunch, lunch out. Out every day. I enjoy eating lunch out lunch every day. Okay. So these are the, this is the use of the ING form. So you can see here, for example, like commuting, good at, after prepositions, at learning, at solving. In the, a, and a, a, in the number three. Are you working? In the number three. And the example is the says problems in mm -hmm. plural. Yeah. There but is a mistake in the answer. The answer uh, on, only only put in singular. In singular, correct. Yes. yes. That was a mistake. And then yeah. hey working with a group or team. Hey working. Can stand sitting. Interested in. Remember. I in the form. These are prepositions, right? Which ones have prepositions? Uh, at, good at, and uh, interested in. And after that, you have enjoy, uh, another verb, hate, and like. Enjoy, hate, and like, you can use the verb with ing. And then the expression, I can stand and yes. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind, yes. Okay, just let me check the attendance we have. My goodness. Everybody, we are reducing yes. now. The time flies, Wait. teacher. <laughs> yes, time flies. And Luis Miguel disappeared. He was here. Yes, I don't know why, you know, the, the time, I don't feel the time. When I check the time is 10 o'clock already. Okay, and then uh, then we have, for example, notice and practice. <laughs> what does it say here? Okay, there is a mistake here. Re it has to be released. Uh, okay, here, look, this is correct. R E L E A S E. Here, the, there is an extra, an extra A. Here's the mistake. Okay, so it's a release, an unreleased sound. Okay, so this is a quick one. Hi, everyone. We want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and D. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound T 
or d at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out. At math and science. I. Okay, so here, when the sound T or D at the end of the sentence, T. Okay, T. And then we're going at the end of the word is followed by a consonant. It is on release. T. Okay, and G. T, G. You say she's not good. She's not good. Okay, good at. At math. At math. Uh, hey, working. But here, this one sounds more relaxed, right? When you say, for example, he's not a, he's not a good, good artist. Not a good artist. If you see the second sentence in release sounds more fluent. Okay, this is she's not a good she's not good at math and science. She's not good at math at math. But here is she's not a good at that. Yes, he's not a good, he's not a good, he's not a good artist. Okay, he's not a good artist. And then sounds more fluent. They really hate it. Hate it. I need a I need a cup of coffee. I need a cup of, I need a cup of coffee. You need to manage, you need to manage money well. I hate working, okay, no, I hate working, I hate working. So you have to stop. In the second, you don't have to stop. He's not a good artist, okay? It's like in Spanish, release is when you say, espérame, voy a ver. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> that, that's re release. Espérame voy a ver, una sola, right? Espérame voy a ver. And in English, then you say, for example, I'm going to go see. I'm going to go see. And then, for example, this is the release form is when you hear, and that's why sometimes I say, no, I don't understand because they speak too fast. Uh, they release the words. Okay? Then when you say, for example, I'm going to go. I'm gonna go. I gotta go. Okay, people, is 10 7. We gotta go. Okay, we have to go. We have to stop. Okay, then say we gotta go at once. We gotta go. We release the expression. Okay, okay. so we're going to stop here today. And then I will see you tomorrow, Friday, but we have a class, remember. Okay, so tomorrow we're gonna have a practice with the uh, release pronunciation. Okay, so have a very good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.